you some of the projects that I made using the July Planner Society kit. I did a couple of things with that kit and I still have tons of stuff left over. These kits are awesome. So the first thing I did is I made this really cute planner divider and I laminated it so it can be used as a dashboard as well. So what I did is I took some of the pattern paper that she sent in the kit and I layered it. So here's the yellow one and then I actually used this one on top, this really pretty green one. And I layered one of the journaling cards on the top with some washi tape. And then I used one of the page tabs over here in a sticker. And I laminated the whole thing and then here's the back side. So this is like this side of this paper, so it's just double sided. And then I went ahead and punched my own holes for the Happy Planner. You can use this and make it your own for whatever planner you have, like take this idea. And so it goes perfectly in my Happy Planner. And then the other little item I made was this cute little journaling notebook, and it's like a mini pocket one. And so what I did is I took the sticky notepad that she sent and I made a piece of ephemera out of it by backing it on cardstock. So that's my cute little de decoration on the front of my notepad. And then I took two pieces of the pattern paper and made banners out of it. And then I took some washi, backed it on coral cardstock and made a cute banner. And see how it kind of changes the color of it? And then I took some of this really pretty pattern paper that she sent and made it into a cute little journal. So here's the other side. And then I just took some paper that I had from my paper pad, like, you know, ledger paper and graph paper and just made a cute little bullet journal. Well, it's kind of like a bullet journal. It's like a traveler's notebook. So here's the inside where I covered with washi and the spine. So I think these notebooks are really cute. You can make these for craft fairs. You can make them for gifts for friends. It was so much fun. So then I, here's what I'm talking about, about the ephemera I made out of the sticky notepad. I just took it and I backed it on cardstock and then I fussy cut it out. So I thought that was a really cute idea and you can, you know, make a bunch of these and send them to your friends or use them for journaling spots, anything. And then I made some really cute paper clips and these are all the, some of the die cuts, not all of them, but some of the die cuts that she sent in the kit and I laminated them and put them on gold paper clips. So let me show you each one. I did an ice cream cone. So there's the back. I just used a one inch circle punch and that one I had to cut down a little bit because of the shape. This is one of my favorites. I love the watermelon. And then there's the back. The, um, the little popsicle. Another one of my favorites, the camera. It's not so pretty. And they're all laminated, so they're like little cute paper clips. And then here's the little mason jar with lemonade. So I made all those, and then I did an entire planner spread as well. So let me show you here. This is my happy planner. And I made this planner band, you guys, by the way by getting this little piece, this little charm from Hobby Lobby on 50% off. And then this is just some of the ribbon that you can get from Hobby Lobby, it's like elastic. And I made a cute planner band. And I also did this DIY um, cover. It was super easy. I just took this little, um, this piece of pattern paper I think I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby. And I laminated it and made my own cute little planner cover and I really love it. I love dream catcher so much. So anyways, so let's go to the spread that I used the July planner society kit on. So here it is. And I didn't do a full video on this because I've been so busy, but I wanted to share it with you. Look at how cute this paper looks together on a planner spread. So I kind of made it this little cute girl theme here and I love this image. It's so adorable. I made a little insert and I used the washi tape. I'll both, both of the washi tapes on this, the girl washi tape with the flowers and then the yellow flower. So what I did is I laid the washi on white cardstock first and then I cut those strips out and glued them down. So the colors come out more vibrant and beautiful because otherwise, if it, 
they're translucent, you can kind of see the line that's on the planner page through it. So then I use these little girl stickers everywhere and I think they're so adorable. They remind me of my sister Brie. Right here. And I just had fun and I used all the cute little popsicle and ice cream stickers over here by my sister's birthday date. And I used the cute planner squares that she sends. I just think that this paper is so beautiful and so fun and I love using it in a planner spread and then let me show you how my dashboard can go in so if I wanted to use it like for my August dashboard you just stick it right in like this you put a little paper clip up here and it's so cute and perfect for this and anybody can do this and these laminators you guys I don't know if people are intimidated by laminating, but I use a $20, it was like $19.99 laminator from Target. It's the Scotch brand, and it's so worth it. So I hope you give these a try, and you can put sticky notes on here or anything that you want. So those are the little projects I made using the July Planner Society kit, and I still have a ton of product left, so I'm going to share with some friends, and I'll probably you know, cut some up into Project Life Size cards and keep all the die cuts and things like that because they can be used year round. So stay tuned because my next video is going to be an unboxing of my August Planner Society kit. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye.